So, just wanted to say quickly, everyone is gathering in um, Lithuania, here where I am. Um, I am born in Swedish Sweden. I am a Swedish citizen, but or yeah, supposedly. And yeah, yeah I am. I am. I'm born there, right? So uh, what is it called? It's my native country, right? Um, that's that's the correct way of saying it. It's my uh, nationality, right? Um, but I'm here in Lithuania and um, there is, and now everyone are gathering here, all of NATO is here in Vilnius and deciding what, what to do about Ukraine. And it's so weird because I, I can never really get over this yellow and blue flag and it kind of feels like from my from my perspective, it feels like it's for me it's so weird. So it feels like, okay, I am here and my the nationality, my, my flag, the flag of, of my nationality is yellow and blue. And, um, and uh, Ukraine is the same. There is actually a ver version of the Swedish flag that is yellow and blue. Just, just in the same way, in, in the same like, the top side is yellow, the uh, underside is is blue. It's it's called a uh, pimpel, that kind of flag, I believe. So, uh, yeah, they're here, and um, I can't get over, I, I know it sounds like arrogant, narcissistic and like self-centered, it sounds like, but, but do you think everything is about you, you, you freaking narcissist or you freaking arrogant man or something, why do you think everything is about you, but I can't get over that feeling because, yeah, why are they here? What, why are they flocking here where I am? And, and you have Ukraine, NATO 33, right? You see, you see there at, at the top. Um, and um, there were some clips of Biden coming to Lithuania. Uh, you have the... Uh, Turkish president Erdogan. Erdogan is here. All of them is here. All of them unite here uh, together. And uh, every single one of them are here. So, uh, yeah. And, and I had this symbolism coming to me on Monday. Uh, I get words or text just appearing uh, to me in a way that is um, nonsense, nonsensical to the context. And when I see a, co a nonsensical uh, text to, that doesn't fit to a context, I, I know that it's communication. So it said, uh, so that th there is a chance that I'm under observation right now. <laughs> I, I believe so at least. And um, so uh, I guess uh, I had some symbolism about FBI. I don't know. They're doing, a, if they're here, they're doing a good job. I'm not noticing them. There's nothing at all. I'm not even trying to find them, but I don't see any cameras. I don't see, like, looking outside. There's nothing, uh, but I guess if if there's something here and you do too much, I'm going to notice it in the form of symbolism. Also, uh, maybe maybe you will dress in normal clothes, but I will see you in in um, 
in bright yellow clothes or bright orange like marking you so even if you hide i will i will see other clothes on you maybe and um, i'm just saying that if you're here don't don't do bad things it's all that i'm saying i'm uh, i'm uh, i'm uh, I'm against uh, I'm against physical violence, right? So I'm I'm uh, how do you say? But you know about this, right? So, uh, but yeah, it's here. I guess I should talk about this, but I'm I don't really feel like it. I'm I'm not that interested. Okay, they are here, but. Anyhow, yeah, if some of you remember, I, yeah, also, I, if I, if I receive an email and you mention that I am arrogant, I don't really take offense by what you say, but I simply make the logical conclusion that there is no need for me to reply. Because you um, you said something, um, how do you say? You judged me in a way that you don't really judge regular people. You don't take, like when you contact, contact or talk to someone, you don't feel comfortable. You just call them arrogant and get away with it. So... Uh, I will take the how do you say I will I'm just taking the uh, I don't see any reason to reply e even if you have something in your email um, because you called me arrogant so I don't take offense uh, I don't take offense at all but I, I will not reply to your email um yeah what more i don't know so why why is 33 up there right what, what's what's the argument ah. You say it's just silly, right? 33. And also you have the... Not only that, you know, I had... So about this yellow and blue. I'm Swedish. And um, I told you about the Detroit... Um, the, the USS uh, boat called uh, boat uh, called <laughs> Detroit and this Detroit boat was uh, taken into how do you say duty on, on my birthday so that's funny and it was on how do you say yeah it had the trident it is at Poseidon Beach or what was it uh, not Poseidon but another place uh, what was the name of that I don't know uh, but then you have this coat of arms of uh, Ukraine I've, I've said it before the coat of arms of Ukraine is a tri trident so you have the trident you have the yellow and blue so if I just I this this is not arrogance uh, what I'm what I'm going to say it's just I don't know I, I know that you are not in my head you you guys are not you don't see with my eyes so I don't know really how to explain what, what I think and how I see things because you don't see with my eyes, so I can't explain, but I will try, okay? Uh, 
the yellow and the blue is, is a two into one. In what way, you ask? In the way that the blue is the water and the yellow is, uh, is the sun. And when it comes to two into one, you have Solomon. Solomon, you know, from the Bible. He built the temple. He, Solomon has something called, called uh, the, the lesser key and the greater key, where the lesser key is, I would say it's something uh, relating to the moon, and the greater key is something rela relating to the sun. And he uses this, uh, Solomon uses these two keys to, um, to, um, to get his power or his enlightenment, the enlightenment of, of King Solomon. Okay. And, and uh, this is the same kind of deal with water and sun. Same kind of stuff. Well, maybe this is all, you know, I don't have that much more to say. I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, well, it's just, it's just weird how they are here, right? It's pretty weird to me. Uh, but at the same time, it feels like, okay, everything is, you know, from my perspective, everything is just circling around me. And uh, um, like that. Um, and it becomes like this. It's, it's like they are here to, to be closer to me. It feels like they, 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 want, they want to be close to me or something like that. Um... Just like, I, I, I know that my, my uh, will, my will to, 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 uh, to get uh, power, I have, I have this will to get power. And I know that that's a, a trait of a psychopath. I know. Uh, when I read about uh, psychopaths, one of their major traits is that everything is a game. And in this game, you get you, the goal is to get as much power as possible. And um, But I don't know. I don't really feel like a psychopath, uh, to be honest. Uh, I just, but I do want power, and I do think that I have power, and and I think that they are here, partly because of that. They are here to get closer to to my power, and that sounds delusional. But if you look into it, I, I don't know if. If you if if you would want to, but um, there is some things that that um, happen around around this around around me, and um, again, uh, whatever I say, it will sound like arrogance, even if I got the facts on the table, even though I got get the facts. I, it sounds like arrogance and narcissism, but it's uh, reality to me. It's simply, uh, it's simply the truth to me. And not only to me, I can just show it to to someone, and, and it will see it for for itself. The the things that became. For example, I wanted it to be gold in in uh, Kiruna, and my, I, I used my language to to try to <clears throat> move the 
the energy from Ukraine into Kiruna and by doing that and then later not that long after that they discovered precious metals in in Kiruna not only a bit but the most uh, rare earth metals in, in entire Europe was suddenly discovered in, in Kiruna and all of the um, European Commission went to, to Kiruna after that and it was really really funny because I I was a part of that also you know and you could see that when there were this flood the, the latest flood in, in Ukraine one week before that it one or two weeks before that it started to flood from the mountains close to, to, to the area of Kiruna started to flood and the the, the river the, the water um, going from from uh, from that place was the most flooded in 50 years uh, and directly after that there was a flood so so Kiruna and Ukraine is kind of connected now I see after this and, you know yeah but you know it's weird right all of this <clears throat> but yeah uh, the the blue and yellow is the enlightenment going into something and in this case it looks like water the blue is water, the yellow is the sun and you can see that it's water also since it's the trident the trident symbol you see uh, of Poseidon the water god you know the water deity um, and from that you have life also like you have light mixed with water in the photosynthesis and you get life uh, yeah anyhow I, I don't know really what to say in this video it's just a mess it's a messy video but I didn't talk about this kind of stuff for a very long time and I don't know if I want to talk about this stuff I just needed to to make a little comment about they are here I can see you I, I can't see you I am not watching but I know I know that they are here again it feels like it feels like it's for me everything is for me you know it sounds it sounds so arrogant but it feels like that and there is some some uh, what's it called some data there is some indications of that also but anyhow let's end it not important video just some talk Okay, bye-bye.